Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with Troyus and Rosetta, our generation of four heirs to the Dark Moon Pack, as they carry on with their struggle to try to claim enough territory that Rosetta can finally have her puppies! It turns out her terrible sense of direction, which gives us the challenge of successfully raising our pups to uh, the summer hunting grounds without looking at the map, is very difficult. I thought it would be a lot easier than this, but the hardest part is actually establishing our territory. We currently have 15 claimed hexes, but we don't exactly know where they are. All we know is that some of them are too weak to count as a territory strong enough to be able to go ahead and have our puppies in. So I'm really worried about that. However, I'm hopeful because now we're going to see if we can actually come over and if we can, ooh, ooh, didn't say abandoned coyote den, is someone we're up here but we're gonna see if we can come over and we can push the crevice lake pack who just shoved us out of this chunk of territory out of their area so let's go straight for their scent marker oh i see their scent marker all right let's destroy that scent marker and let's see if by doing this we'll be able to give ourselves enough of an edge rosetta's just completely ignoring uh oh all right stranger wolves from the crevice lake wolf pack they're up ahead, but maybe if we can just destroy this this scent mark. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Then we might be able to... Okay, good, good, good. Okay, good. They're probably coming for us, but we're going to move as quickly as we can. Because if we can shove them out of here, I'm really hoping that we might finally have a chance. Both of these two are just going to start howling trying to knock down their control. Rosetta's had to be really brave because she doesn't really have a good sense of direction and she can't really formulate a strategy about what kind of territory to take over in her head. She just has to kind of stand her ground anywhere she goes and yes, you guys, we've done it. <gasps> we've finally done it. Yes, by standing up and like standing her ground against the Dark Lake Pack, uh, or excuse me, the Crevice Lake Pack, we destroyed the Dark Lake Pack, a derivative of the Crevice Lake group in like generation two or three. Uh, we're actually going to be the Dark Moon Pack. Yes, our quest is completed. We're gonna go ahead and friends, it's time to choose a den. Finally, 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 finally. You've established a territory in the hills above a sloth creek, but remember, you must maintain it even when your pups require all your time and attention. Well, good luck with that. It's very difficult to tell where we've been with Rosetta, but we'll another den. But it's not exactly the den that I wanted to choose. <laughs> all right, it's time to find a den, you guys. There is hope, there is hope yet, oh my gosh. I still can't look at where our territory is, but we have somewhat of an idea of where the dens we can find are. Um, I think there's like a family den somewhere down here. Alright, in fact, I think... Am I practically like right, right, right on top of it? I'm pretty sure like the den that's being used, like actively being used by Lark is right here? Like, am I almost on it? No, there must be another one that I'm not familiar with. Is it down here? Hello? Hello, hello? Oh my gosh, these dens are giving me such a headache trying to figure out where they're, they're all hiding. I know some of you guys have said that there is a den around here that you really, really like and you use on the regular. Um, full credit to you for being able to find it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take ourselves over to the den that I have had Rosetta's heart set on, which is across the lake. So we're gonna just focus on that for once. And then let's get some sleep, have these puppies. Let's do some territory scent marking in case it needs it. Okay, it might need it, so. Do a little howling. Because I cannot risk losing more territory when I can't see where we're going. And then we're going to try to follow the scent of the water. What do you mean the Crevice Lake Pack has taken this area over? What? 
This is not acceptable. This is like right next to where we want to be, guys. Absolutely not acceptable. Yeah, this is actually like right next to where we want to be. This is not going to sit well with Rosetta. I don't care if they've taken out a bull elk carcass. We're going to have to go find their scent post and destroy it before they come back. Or even get in a fight with them because Rosetta is starting to turn into a bit of a mama bear. I almost feel like the, the dark moon pack curse of things kind of taking a darker turn is beginning to just very gently add some shadows to her. Alright, where is- Ha! There it is. And let's go ahead and knock this out of the way. There's a bazillion dens around here. What on earth? Dang it! You know what? No! No, I'm done! I'm done playing around! I'm done pretending that we're gonna do anything other than fight! Oh, look! She's like chased this wolf onto the side of a cliff! I think she is a little done and getting a little bit shadowed, you guys. Because she's done pretending she's going to do anything other than try to fight for the home that she wants to have. Are they going to run for it? We won! We beat them, you guys! See, she is having to go ahead and like just stand her ground everywhere we go. And we did it! We took over this territory too! Good job, Rosetta! I have no idea where that den is. I don't really care at this point. Let's get you back over. I'm gonna chase this female away. Yeah, you need to run a little faster. Because I don't want to actually like have to do anything too dark and like kill you. But you really can't be here anymore. This is this is now Rosetta's Dark Moon Pack territory. And we're gonna try to find the scent of the waterways. Oh, it feels good to like kick those those two out. And I think there's the lake! Finally! The puppies! Finally! Oh, she does have a bit of a mother wolf in her, wanting to make sure that we defend what should be ours. I can totally understand that. All right, and that may affect what kind of perks we give her, too. Whew, I'm really gonna have to think about that, too. All right, let's wiggle down here. There's yet another den nearby, somewhere, somehow. Because there's just eight million dens here. Truly. Oh my gosh, I'm apparently on top of another den. What? What? And apparently... A bison. Where's the bison? Okay, there they are. All right, well, I still don't know where- Oh, wait, 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 wait! Right here! <gasps> we found another one! Okay, we're not gonna go ahead- It's a wooden den! We're not gonna go ahead and have our pups right there, because I want to be in view of the water. Ah, oh, but here we go! Finally! There's a moose! Careful, Troyus. Don't get kicked by the moose. Troyus. He's, like, trying to protect us from the moose. We're gonna ignore the boost, Troyus. Ah, <sighs> we're gonna howl a couple more times. And finally, 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 our rose is coming out of the dark winter. And we're gonna go ahead and make this our den. A wooden den, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call this, um, Let's see, the dawn light den, because the dawn light is coming in to the dark moon pack territory. And we're gonna get ready for the puppies, you guys! First we need to go ahead and pick our perks. See how many babies we're gonna have! All right, so let's go ahead and view the perks for Rosetta! So she is not the fastest, but she does have a lot of stamina. And this time we can go ahead and give her several perks. The fun parent perk does social and play emotes boost pack affinity faster. Pups never get tired of socializing. That is totally them because they are very, very, very playful, these two. And they just really love to play with one another. They really love to have a great time. Um, the youthful prowess, more likely to have 
have a larger litter of pups next year. Six pups are more likely to recover. Competitors more likely to flee. Um, protected uh, prospective mates, more rivals. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say that Rosetta really stands her ground. So competitors are more frightened when you snarl and growl at them. And also her, she's very young, so her sick pups might be more likely to recover. Rosetta was actually quite sick as a pup herself. So it's good to see that she's recovering that. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and give her a little bit more strength because I actually feel like strength is something she has gained quite a bit while being a good wolf mother. Uh, and I'm really intrigued to see how in the future, if her change in these stats might actually impact what her pups end up inheriting. And you can start ending up with like super fast or super healthy or super strong wolves because that would be so much, just, I would love that. That'd be so cool. All right, let's advance to age three. Here we go, here we go. <gasps> and our puppies! We just had six puppies, you guys! Yes! So we have one, two little boys and four little girls all here as Dark Moon Pack members. Wow, Iverson, or not Iverson, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Troyus, I think that you're probably so proud about these little ones, aren't you? So here we are, my friends, with Troyus looking over his pups. We're going to go ahead and give them their names. The first little one is actually going to be Beaver, because Troyus does indeed want to go ahead and gather a healthy, strong family, build a strong family, and take out one beaver, which just got a lot harder now that we have six pups, for every member of the family. We've already hunted one beaver, now we need to hunt seven more. Hmm, that's going to keep us quite busy. But then we're going to go ahead and we are going to name the little girls. Let me look down the list here. So we're going to have, let's see, Thorn, named after Rosetta. You know, every rose has its thorn. We're going to have Petal. Uh, actually, we're going to have Rosebud, also named after Rosetta. Our little boy is actually going to be... Let me see. He is actually going to be Journey, which I really love. And he's going to have that name kind of kind of off of Rosetta's lack of direction. Um, <laughs> and the fact that she's always kind of journeying around everywhere. Then we are going to welcome in Delphi after Delphinium, which is a beautiful type of flower. So we'll just name her full name is Delphinium. And then finally, we're going to have little Bee. Beaver, Thorn, Rosebud, Journey, Delphi, and Bee. Welcome to the family. All right, you guys. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Okay, there he is. There he is. And we've got... Hello, little ones. Delphi, Beaver, Thorn, Rosebud. Oh, you guys are hungry already. What? How are you guys hungry already? Thank goodness we've got a little bit of food for you. And there is Journey. And there we go, you guys. And here's Bee. Oh, here we are with all of our puppies. Oh, it's about time we finally, finally, finally had some of these babies. And it looks like so far, several of them are actually different colors. Let me see if I can go ahead. I can't remember how to do. There's like a, a special button where you can do like pup view and I can't remember what it is right now. Is it this one? Oh, there we go. All right, now we're in pup view. Pardon me if things, oh, it's snowing a little bit. So B is brown. Delphi is darker brown. Beaver is, beaver and thorn. Thorn is kind of like another shade of brown. Beaver is the only one who's kind of black and white, and Rosebud is sort of dark brown slash black. So, the, oh, look, Delphi and Beaver are all three playing. Oh, hello, little ones. All right. Thorin is trying to follow Troyus on up. Uh, let's, let's see. Pack Affinity is really good, and everybody is just a little hungry. So, uh, I need to go ahead. I, I think we gave off a little bark. There we go, yeah. A little soft bark. 
We're gonna wolf. Journey really wants to eat instead of go back inside. And Delphinium wanted a chance. It's kind of funny watching them climb up there. <laughs> Delphinium wanted a bit of a chance at some food, but we're gonna send them back inside while our pack affinity is super high and it's snowing. And we're gonna go try to get some food to take care of our new little babies. So there we go, you guys. Finally, 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 Rosetta gets to catch up with Lark and have her babies. I am so excited to see how they're going to grow up and what they're going to be like. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Rosetta and Troyus's new litter of puppies. Let's actually climb in and go see them. Uh-oh. Um. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm sure that was normal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but here we are with Mother Rosetta and all of her little ones. And we will take good care of them. And add to this the fifth generation of the Dark Moon Pack next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.